I mean, ever since I've been a kid, I've always been a pack rat. And I mean, we walking down the street or like someone throws something away, I'd see it and you know, hey, that looks cool. You know, I'd take it and just keep it. I mean, for a while, just have it keep in my room and just be a pile. And then, you know, one day I'd look at it and be like, hey, you know, I could use this. I just start putting stuff together and it's like, hey, you know, cool, it's a piece. For instance, one, one of my pieces, I use pistachio shells because I used to eat a lot of pistachio shells and, you know, instead of throwing away the shells, I just start collecting them and having them in this big old container. And then I saw, you know, these would be perfect for scales. I mean, I just see something and some people say hey, it's junk or, you know, I keep it and I look at it, it's like, I could probably use that for maybe, I don't know, hair or eyes. Like when I went to a taxidermy place, uh, they let me dig through what no one else wanted. I took all the bones, like boiled the meat away and I used them to make the hill of a sword or to make a new strange skull. I guess my favorite one would be my huge ass one called uh, Agony. My, the giant demon with the sword, the pierced sword, and he's hanging up, the, hanging up on the side of the wall. The 300 pound one, the heavy one. They were my kids and they asked like, Daddy, if, could you pick a favorite? Uh, basically would, okay, you guys fight to the death and whichever one of you wins, that would be my favorite. I guess the shortest time to make a piece would probably be about two months. Cause I mean, I don't just sit up there every single day, just focus and sit up there and work on that, work on one piece. I, hell, I've given several of my pieces away to my friends and whose parents are scared to death of them from what I understand.